Hey, today we will talk a bit about how CSS styling works in HA floor plan and in general. So let's dig right into it. The content of this video will be all about classes, IDs, and how we are styling elements in HA floor plan. But don't expect the full course on how you should move around in CSS or anything like that. This is just to bring you a better understanding on how HA floor plan are actually working with the HTML DOM element. So let's begin. So classes, what's that all about? We're using classes when we're trying to style multiple elements in our HTML DOM. The classes will be defined as one of the attributes in the HTML. Here you can see we have a rectangle where we have the ID attribute and we have a class attribute of entity state off. The entity state off are actually providing a few line styles. You can see our entity off are currently defining that our rectangle element in HTML is being defined with an opacity of 0 0.7 and a fill with a RGB color as well. If you're taking a look at our CSS file, you can see the styles we are seeing here in our browser are actually the one we just find in our CSS file. That way we're able to use our CSS file to style more than one element at a time. Our class can contain multiple things. One thing could be opacity, another could be fill, but there's many, many, many ways to style an element. In HA's flow plan, when we are updating the class of one HTML object, you will see the changes in your browser right away. So when I'm clicking the restroom, you can see that the class changes to entity state on. And you can also see that it's picking up the style from our CSS file with opacity zero. You're able to toggle the style on and off in your session or well while you're still on the same page by just pressing it. Another thing I would like to point out is that every HTML element can have its own style attribute. That means styles which are only applying for that specific HTML element. If that's the case, you aren't able to override it without using the important marker in your CSS file. That's why the important is used in our case when the entity is off. You are able to see the current style right here, and you're also able to see it in this area. When you're using the style underscore set service in HA floor plan, we are actually changing the style defined right here. The next topic we should talk about is IDs. IDs is a selector in CSS we are using for single entity elements. The ID defined in Inkscape is actually the one we are also seeing in our HTML DOM. So the light restroom primary, as we are seeing right here, is the one we define in Inkscape. We can target one ID in our CSS file by using the assign, writing the name of it. And in here you're able to define whatever you would like to. One thing could be using a fill with red. And now that we already have one RGB color defined, it's important to use the important marking. Let's try and save it. Reload the page. And as you can see, our fill is now defined. We are not able to see it because the entity is currently on with opacity zero. But if we're removing that part, we are able to see that the fill is now overridden with the wet color of our choice. When we are working with CSS, the last thing to find in the file will normally be the one 
winning the game, talking about adding styles to one element. But if you are creating one selector, which are better qualified for the styling, you will see that that one will actually win the game. So we want to find called NCC state off with the ID in the end is more qualified than the one below it. So if we're reloading the page, you will see that the fill is turning into orange instead of blue. That way we are actually able to override things if we have a selector which are more qualified than the other one. Styling elements with HA floor plane is all about taking advantages of all the advanced things you can do in CSS and in JavaScript. So when you are updating the class in HA floor plane and using the class set, we're actually able to put in some dynamic data as well. In this case, when we are using the class set service, we're actually using the entity state as well. That's how we're able to create a class name called entity state on off. We now know the browser is looking for the class entity state on or entity state off on basis of the entity state. And HA floor plane are updating the class each time the state is changed for the element. When you're using the HA floor plane service style underscore set, we're just updating the DOM as you just saw. So the one up here are just changing the style property of the HTML element. For more advanced users, which are used to working with JavaScript, there's plenty of ways of making this more dynamic. You could style one element, for example, just setting a color with JavaScript instead of using styles. A call to our style set service could also look like this. In this JavaScript code, we're checking if the entity state is on, and if it's on, we are making a console lock. You're able to see the console right here. That's useful if you would like to see what kind of properties the entity is actually holding. You can see we are using this state here. That's the one we're pointing at right here. And if that's on, we are filling it with pink. Like so. If I'm turning it off, you can see we have changed the style. So the style is now fill purple instead of fill pink. By turning it back on, you can see it's changed to fill pink. So that's the way we are styling the HTML DOM element by the style set function. And that's the end of the video about CSS styling. I hope you find it useful and if you did, please press the like button. Furthermore, drop a comment if you have any questions related to the usage of CSS in Home Assistant Floorplan. Thank you for watching.